This is Essay. She's three months pregnant with her first child. Um, I think we should change the name for the purpose of this video. Okay, fine. This is Esther. She's Thank three months you. pregnant with her first child. But there's something she doesn't know about the thing growing inside of her. It's actually a parasite. A what? Oh my god, don't scare them. I'll take it from here. Just calm down. Hi guys, so sorry about that. The guy doesn't know how to talk. But yes, a fetus is technically a parasite. That's what I said. Okay, then just leave it to professionals. Why are you still talking? Hi, I'm Essie the Nutritionist and this is episode 37 of Oh My Gods. I know this thing sounds crazy, but I can explain, just calm down. A parasite attaches to a host and extracts resources. Do you know what else does that? The baby growing inside of you. Just like a parasite, a fetus is completely dependent on its host, in this case, the pregnant woman. For nutrients, oxygen, warmth, and waste removal, it cannot survive without this connection. A parasite prioritizes itself over the well-being of its host, even to the host's detriment. Mm -hmm. If the mother isn't getting enough nutrients through food, the fetus will still take what he needs by drawing it from her body. Not enough calcium in the diet, the fetus will pull it from his mother's bones. Low iron intake, it will prioritize its own red blood cell development and leave the mother at risk of getting anemia. Not enough calories, <laughs> the fetus will keep growing low. While the mother might experience fatigue, muscle loss, and even a strain on her organs. Parasites also change the host biological system to ensure its own survival, just like a fetus. Pregnancy comes with intense hormonal shifts. The body will adjust its blood volume, its metabolism, appetite, and immune response, all to accommodate the growing fetus. You can see that I didn't talk so much about nutrition today. That's because I want you to have a good understanding of the next series of videos I put out. Understanding the biological demands of pregnancy helps us appreciate why maternal nutrition and care are non-negotiable. See, the fetus will grow, even at the mother's expense. It does not care. It will do anything to survive, even if it means that you have to die. And that's why pregnant women need support, nourishment, rest, and education. Now that's the end of episode 37. See you next week, same time, same place. Bye.